The time is now <clears throat> for outcomes, for results. The time is now for health IT to clearly not be about technology, but about healthcare transformation that works together with all the other changes that are happening out there. There's a sea change coming in how healthcare is going to be paid for. It's not just going to be the volume of services that's going to end up determining how much providers and hospitals get paid. It's going to be the quality, the coordination, the safety, the seamlessness, the patient-centeredness. So what are the tools that providers are going to need to succeed in that new environment? Their information tools, their practice redesign. It's healthcare transformation, and health IT is an absolutely essential part of that. It's a virtuous cycle where the information technology enables us to measure and improve the quality, safety, efficiency, coordination of care, and payment systems that reward those practices that do so. Let's think about it. Safety. You learned about drug-drug alerts. Yes? <laughs> Good. It's about that provider who is writing a medication that could cause a potentially fatal interaction. And without the information systems at their fingertips, there's a very real danger that that patient will join the 80,000 patients who's harmed every year, some of them fatally by medication errors. It's about the patient who is not, their risks are not well controlled. It's the patient with high blood pressure walking around who was never called back to the doctor's office, who has a stroke, whose family is grieving. And it's the ability to call those patients back to make a list, registry functions, right? You guys did that too, right? Yeah. That's what those registry lists are about. They're about saving that person's life. You learned about decision support to help remind the providers, nurses, doctors, at the point of care when there's something that more they could be doing, giving that flu shot even though the person came in for something else. It's about care that's less expensive, not only in preventing all of these avoidable hospitalizations, avoidable heart attacks, avoidable strokes, but it's also about making sure that when that patient is discharged from the hospital, they don't end up back in the hospital five days later when their medication interacted with what they already had at home, when they didn't follow up with their doctor, their primary care provider. It's about making sure that those information flows happen to prevent that readmission, one of millions of unnecessary and avoidable readmissions, each one with its own story of a family suffering. 